Okay, here it is. I want to do the update. Um, I finally accomplished my goal. It does multiply. So for this test, I'm going to do the biggest number and um, another um, update I did to this when I push equals it now makes the equals line flash let's get our digits put in here and I'll show you alright here we go it blinked it's calculating and then guess what in one minute and 20 seconds we will have our answer time for time lapse <laughs> I'm going to have to go over to where I build my test machines. <clears throat> now it's time for me to give a huge shout out to uh, Mist777. He has a awesome design for a serial data adder. So I took his adder design and I kind of modified it. This down here is the um, actual full adder um, that it's comparator adder that can add the serial signals um, this is the serial signal generator I changed it from his design he has them um, uh, two block gap apart I just squished them together and then I put the first set of torches for the first AND gate right down here and then just a uh, slab over and on as usual. Now, um, you know, in the his video tutorial of how to build the serial adder, he has a receiver similar to this one um, with a, a lever back here for the uh, lock line. I changed that up to a receiver that's spaced out with 14 outputs and the lock line um has to tap in from the middle here so that all these repeaters can lock at the exact same time and then for the reset all i do is lift up the blocks that are stored um okay so like these blocks are charged when i hit reset it just pulls up every single block and the whole signal is wiped out you don't have to wait for the serial signal to flush all the way out um, so what I did was I made the adder, so let's go 3 plus, let go 3 plus 5. And I hooked up the signal for the generate the uh, sum and the reset signal to the same line. So when I push the button, it clears out whatever's in the receiver and it adds up whatever the two A and B inputs are and sends it down. So I'll demonstrate that here. Okay. And we locked in at, this is my LSB, my least significant bit. So this would be ones, twos, fours, and eights. So we got an eight. Three plus five is eight. 
Um, now for the multiplier, I needed some way to have this go back into this. So, since it's serial and I can just bus it, I figured I would just simply bus the receiver back around to this side and now it can be an input for the input A side. But, on top of that, it has a little register in between. And the lock line for the receiver is also the same line that uh, resets and rewrites this little sticky register down here. Um, that sticky register controls uh, input B on the adder. And input A is actually coming from the two shift registers of, you know, my input A and input B. So all the inputs on A are controlled by one shift register that's shifting and it's only clicking the uh, add to register button when the, um, there we go, I got it. All right. Well, I have zero in there, so it's going to give us a zero back. Now, if I put two in here, and we tick it, this should come down, and it should give us a two, and then that triggers the register. Now, side B has a two, and side A has a two. Of course, if we were using the multiplier, you know, the the data would shift one block and if it was necessary if there was a, a ones bit on in the other register would tick this line again and the signal comes back through and now we have added another digit to itself in this register however the way my inputs come in on that calculator are the uh, opposite direction. So I had to mirror image everything on this mechanism down here and build it back here. Now let's go back over here. I gotta figure out how to edit these videos. So this is the same device. Just all built mirror image so that it lines up with my inputs on my um, multiplier shift register system here. Um, this, all this wiring uh, triggers whether or not it's going to add to the register or just shift another time without adding to the register when it's all completed and it finally is ready to spit out an answer. It actually has another serial device right here. This doesn't actually do anything but create a serial signal, transmit it to a serial receiver over here. And I know it doesn't seem like necessary because, you know, all my outputs are right here and I'm only going a couple blocks away. The way these come out is opposite directions. So I would have to have 14 wires and some of them would have to wrap all the way out here all the way over here and all the way back. But since serial data, I'm not actually doing math with this. I'm just uh, sending this same signal of lights over here. And uh, it's eliminated a whole spider web of input lines. Only thing is, it makes it take a little bit longer. This system, when this is actually multiplying, is incredibly slow because it has to add and write a signal and wait for that signal to go through every single time. Anyway, this video is getting way too long. It's nighttime in my world now. That's how long I've been talking. So I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to start up um, better explanations of the different machines and how they work and how they all go together. And I'm going to keep upgrading this and making it faster and let it uh, evolve as we go along. Alright guys, enjoy.